Here at CCO, we do something special called Making a Difference. It's your chance to tell us about people who are making our community a better place. And this time, our winner is making a difference both here and in our home country. Congratulations. Thank you. You've been chosen as a winner from uh, WCCO TV's Yay, Making a Difference project. It was a so pleasure you know to give American Kate Herzog the $500 from American oh, Equity Mortgage because of the way she's used her own money and in ingenuity. Uh, let us brought it. It's our bicycle basket. I have to show you. She's a native of Ghana who didn't learn to read until she was 11. Now she's paying it forward and running a worldwide business out of this tiny office at the University of St. Thomas. Our mission is to alleviate poverty. That is the goal. Her brand is called House of Talents, and her talent is identifying the right African artisans to make these beautiful products and trust with her startup money. And it's the ones who are obsessed with getting out of poverty are the ones that I work with. And because I advanced them the money, I also have to make sure that it will cover my back because, you know, we are giving money. It's all based on trust. Her office is full of baskets, jewelry, even soaps, and each one has its own story, including these jewel-like glass pieces that caught my eye. They come from broken bottles. Yes. Oh, this is from Guinness? This is Guinness bottles. What, these are, they're such pretty colors. Yes, and some of them are Old Spice, and, and this is beer. House of Talents grew out of a St. Thomas MBA okay, project, so sure and Kate gets help from student interns, including Lance DeGroote, who nominated her. We have to get all these straps on before we head out there. Yeah. But she couldn't get traditional financing because she has such a non-traditional business. I'm also dealing with people who are truly poor and they have no collateral, so I wasn't going to get any loan. So Kate invested her own money, clearing out her savings and most of her 401k. Now her products are in fancy stores like JV and Company and Gavaday, and she's using the proceeds to send African kids to school and buy books for their libraries. I sleep very well. I'm broke and happy. <laughs> Kate's inspiration is the American man who sent her the books that helped her learn to read when she was only 11, and that's why she's donating books to build libraries in Africa. If you know someone you think is making a difference in our community, let us know. You can nominate someone on our website. Check out all the rules at wcco.com slash difference.